All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm very excited to make this video for you. This is going to be how to use a Ledger hardware device with the Euroi wallet to be able to delegate to a stake pool. So if you're interested in that type of content, be sure to stay tuned. All right, everyone, to get things started, if you guys do find some value from this video, please be sure to drop a like for me. If you want to stay up to date with relevant Cardano news, information, and how-to videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know exactly when I post a new video. In this video here today, we're going to be using the Ledger Nano S hardware device. This is also going to be available for the Ledger Nano X. So if you have either one of those options, you'll be able to use both hardware devices. If you haven't already, I would recommend that you pick up a Ledger device. If you would like to help support the channel, please be sure to check out the links down in the description. They are affiliate links at no extra cost to you. You'll be able to help support the channel and purchase your own Ledger hardware device. So I would recommend that. What we've got pulled up here on the screen, I've got the Euroi Chrome extension. This is gonna be available currently for Google Chrome. I think that they are working on bringing this out for Mozilla Firefox. Uh, what we need to do first is actually go over to our Ledger Live application on our computer. I would recommend that you go through the process if you need to go ahead and update the Ledger Live application. After you've done so, you can actually go over to the tab on the left that says Manager, and we can see all the available apps that we have already installed and which ones we can choose to install. In this instance, I've got the Bitcoin application currently installed on my device, and what we need is the Cardano application. I'm gonna scroll down. We can see Cardano ADA. This is version 2.0.4, and I'm gonna click on Install. Let me see if I can pick up my device here. This is the Ledger Nano S. And it should say it's processing here in just a moment once it goes through, there we go. So what's gonna happen, it's gonna install the latest version of the Cardano application. You just wanna make sure if there is an update available, go ahead and just download that update. And it shows here that it's been installed, perfect. Now when we go over here using the buttons on the device, you can see we've got the Bitcoin application and here's Cardano ADA. So that's exactly what we need. Very straightforward process to be able to install the application on your device. Once we've got that taken care of, we can actually go over to the Euroi extension. I will be sure to leave a link down in the description as well if you do need to go ahead and download Euroi. Right now, this is gonna be for Google Chrome. And once you've went ahead and downloaded it, you'll be able to choose the option to connect to a hardware wallet. So I'm gonna click on that here. In this instance, it's gonna ask us to choose our currency or platform. I'm gonna choose Cardano, the Ledger Hardware Wallet, and we wanna choose the Shelly Arrow Wallet. So now this is gonna be giving us the option to delegate to a stake pool. Byron Arrow Wallets, unfortunately, will not have the ability to delegate to a pool. I'm gonna show you that process here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and click on Shelly Arrow Wallet. And this is gonna give us a few prerequisites that we need to be aware of in order to use the full functionality of this wallet. So let's go ahead and click on next. Okay, and it's asking us to go ahead and connect our device to our computer. We do already have our Ledger device connected to our computer. So when we click on the application here, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and press two buttons here to select the Cardano ADA application on the device. And it shows here waiting for commands on the screen. So next on the Euroi wallet, I'm gonna click on connect. And this is gonna open up a portal in a new tab. And it's saying to choose your device. In this instance, I've got the Ledger Nano S. I'm gonna click on that. Okay, and then here what it's doing is it's asking me to verify the public key. So now this is going to allow us to generate the addresses in order to be able to receive ADA. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and verify this information by pressing both buttons on the device. And then it's saying, do you want to confirm export of public key? So by confirming, we would just press on the right button here to click on the check mark. And that's gonna confirm that we verified the public key. Okay, and then after we've confirmed that, it's gonna redirect us back to this previous screen. And we should see the wallet pop up here in just a moment. Uh, so it looks like it's syncing right now. And perfect, so the wallet has now been connected to the Euroi extension. What we need to do next is go ahead and name our wallet. So after we've went ahead and named our wallet, we can click on save. 
And from here, we can see the notification that it's giving us saying that we found some ADA in your Byron Era wallet. Would you like to transfer it to your Shelly wallet? In this instance, we can see the public addresses in which are tied to those wallet balances. So what we want to do is go ahead and click on upgrade. This is going to take any funds that were available in our Byron Era wallet and transfer that over to the Shelly Era. So it's saying make sure your Ledger Nano S is connected to your computer. So we do have our device connected. I'm just going to see if I can show you what pops up on the screen. Let's click on continue. This is going to go through that same process again. So what we have to do is basically go ahead and sign a transaction. So what we can see on our screen, it's saying start new transaction. So I'm gonna click on the right button here to confirm. And it's saying send ADA. So what we're doing essentially is sending ADA from a Byron era wallet over to a Shelly era wallet. So I wanna go ahead and press both buttons to confirm. It's asking me to confirm the public address which we'd like to send the ADA to. So I'm gonna click on both buttons again to confirm. I'm gonna confirm the transaction fee as well with pressing both buttons, saying transaction TTL epoch 214. So this is giving us the state of the network. Click on the right button there. Okay, and you can confirm by pressing both buttons at the same time. And it's saying confirm transaction. So this is the last step in the process. I'm gonna confirm by pressing the right button. Okay, and the transaction has went through. So now what we'll see is that Byron Era ADA transferred over to our new Shelly wallet. So very cool, uh, the user interface is going to be really clean, I like how it's laid out. And we can see that the wallet balance is now reflecting the ADA. Yep, the transaction just popped up. So this is the Byron Era ADA that has now been converted over to the Shelly Era. We can see our balance up here at the top. This shows us the ADA that we have currently in our wallet. And we've got the Shelly Ledger wallet. So very cool. I'm very impressed with the work done by Emergo and the Eroy team. I know that they've been putting in countless hours as far as being able to get this application ready for use. So wanna give them a big thank you for the tremendous work that they've put in. Uh, really enjoying the user experience so far. So now that you've got your ADA on your Ledger device, you've converted it over to the Shelly era, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're able to do as far as delegating it to a pool. So once we've clicked over to delegation list, we can see that the list of stake pools is actually featured using an API from adapools.org. We can see a list of all the available stake pools that we're able to delegate to. What I want to do in this instance is just show you a couple things here. As far as the information that is laid out, we can see the stake pool name. We've got any links for social media. You can also see the current return on ADA after a 30 day period. So if you're looking at rewards percentage, most stake pools right now, if they've got a good performance, it's around about five and a half percent. And we can see here the metrics that we're looking at. This is gonna be related to the pool saturation level. We can see the amount of active stake that is currently delegated to the pool. We can see the costs involved. So this shows you their percentage fee as well as the fixed fee, the average cost. So this is kind of like a combination of both. So just kind of adding both of those together to get you that average cost. This shows you the pledge and this shows you the number of blocks that the pool has minted in that current epoch. So let's go ahead and actually search for Kaizen Crypto Stake Pool. You'll be able to do that by typing in the pool name and you can do this for any stake pool. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in Kaizen, so K-A-I-Z-N. And we'll go ahead and click on search and this will pull up Kaizen Crypto Stake Pool. Very cool. So you can see here, we've got the return on ADA. We've got the pool share. These are the costs involved. We've got 15 blocks mint to this epoch doing really well. I did wanna go ahead and say thank you so much to all of our delegators. I really appreciate all the support. We've been doing incredibly well this epoch. So looking forward to rewards. Next rewards will be paid out on Wednesday. Uh, each epoch every five day period is when the rewards will be distributed. What we can do if you're interested in delegating to Kaizen Crypto Stake Pool, we can click on Delegate. The next screen that pops up, it shows us the information that's related to the stake pool and the transaction involved with delegating. So what we can see here, the stake pool name shows Kaizen Crypto Stake Pool. The stake pool ID shows the amount of ADA which you'd like to delegate. And it shows an approximation of the rewards that you receive based on the amount of ADA that you're delegating. So let's go ahead and click on delegate down at the bottom. And this is gonna redirect us to go ahead and confirm the transaction. 
Now we've got our ledger device connected to our computer. Let's go ahead and click on continue. And from here, it's gonna ask us to go ahead and verify the transaction. So what I wanna do is go ahead and follow the prompts here on the screen. You can go ahead and follow along using your device as well. Just go ahead and press the buttons that it's indicating. And it's asking us to confirm the ADA amount by pressing both buttons. The next will be to confirm the receiver's address by pressing both buttons. Keep in mind that when you do delegate to a stake pool, you're not sending your ADA. Your ADA will always be available to you in your wallet. So just something to keep in mind, it's a best practice to just make sure whenever you're delegating, you wanna make sure you use the delegation features in the wallet using the user interface. And what I'm doing here is just following the on-screen instructions. It's saying confirm the transaction fee. So we'll press both buttons. The next will be confirm the time to live by pressing both buttons. What this is gonna do, it's showing you the epoch in which the transaction will take effect. So whenever you delegate to a stake pool, the transaction will take effect after the current and the next epoch. And it's asking us to confirm our delegation. So we'll press both buttons there and confirm delegation by pressing the right button. Confirm transaction. Okay, so it's a very secure process as you can see. It's definitely something that you have to make sure that you're doing intentionally because of the amount of confirmations involved with delegating. Uh, but don't let that be intimidating at all. It's a very straightforward process. What we can see here, it shows that the delegation was successful. So now what we can do to verify, we can go back over to the dashboard page and it shows us here the stake pool we're delegated to is Kaizen Crypto Stake Pool. Awesome. So guys, that is gonna be what we're looking at as far as the process to be able to delegate your ADA to a stake pool using your Roy and the Ledger Nano wallet. So I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you did find some value from this video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like for me and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.